Hey everybody, how's it going? We have Brock here today. He was one of the first students to ever join Major League Profits. Crazy. It was about two years ago. How you doing today, Brock? Good. How about yourself? I'm not bad. Can't complain. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to ask you a couple questions just about the program, your experience, sports cards, entrepreneurship, and you know just stuff in general. Right. So my first question to you is two years ago, before joining the program, what were your thoughts what did you what did you know about sports cards at the time kind of what was your place give me that give me the, that little rundown yeah so basically like everybody else i heard how sports cards was the next big thing you know i was trying to look for any information i could on sports cards couldn't find anything um so i tried to do my own research um you know i was kind of in a stuck place was trying to you know buy and sell cards on ebay um wasn't really in facebook groups yet um and basically you know i was just kind of stuck i wasn't making money was, you know, stuck with inventory. And that's where I found, you know, your Facebook group. And, uh, you know, I, I was actually on one of your, um, like your live Facebook uh, streams that you did. And, you know, you dropped a ton of knowledge. And I was like, hey, like, this is something I really want to dive into. I knew that for a fact. I was like, you know, whatever it costs, you know, to learn this and get a mentor, you know, I was down for it. So that's kind of where I found you. And that's kind of where I started. Um, so, yeah. Gotcha. And I think it's important to note, at the time, how old were you? And what were you doing and kind of how much money were you generating just for yourself? Right. Yeah, for sure. So basically I just graduated high school mm -hmm. um, and I was, you know, clueless with what I wanted to do. I knew I wasn't going to school. It wasn't for me. I've always been into business and stuff. Always wanted to start my own business. Um, so I was, you know, kind of stuck in that regard. I was making minimum wage, uh, you know, trying to find other side hustles and stuff. And that's where I found cards. And that's why I dove so deep into it because I knew, you know, things like drop shipping and other stuff like that. If I could start, you know, when it was, you know, just getting, you know, when it was just taken off before everybody came into it, you know, uh, maybe I could turn it into something that, you know, changed my life. And uh, it really did change my life. So I'm happy I got into it. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. So that sounds, I'm ha happy to hear that. I'm happy. Sports cards has worked very well for you. Now I'm going to ask you the golden question. So you joined the program about two years ago. Since joining the program, how much money have you made since, if you know an exact amount or just rough um, your profits? Yeah, so about the first year I made around 130,000 and this year I've actually made around 200,000. So um, yeah, crazy man, couldn't, couldn't wish for more. Wow, that's, that's freaking awesome. And my next question following up with that is what individual card have you made the most money on it? What kind of card was it? How do you make that money? Um, how did the program help you obviously, you know, flip that card, right. give, me, give me a little breakdown there. Yeah, for sure. So I was actually on a uh, vacation. I went to the Oregon coast because I'm from Oregon and uh, I came upon a card shop and I actually found a Luka Doncic blue fast break prism uh, and it was a raw card. And I saw it, you know, the card shop owner showed it to me. Uh, I was like, why didn't you grade this? Because it looked perfect, you know, through the videos and everything you taught me, I, you know, just knew instantly it was a PSA 10 or, you know, had a great shot at a PSA 10. So I I uh, asked him, I was like, why didn't you get this graded? He was basically saying like, oh, I just haven't had the time, you know, don't want to wait for PSA. I knew I could send it, you know, get it back quick. So I, uh, I, you know, bought the card for $9,000, um, sent it to PSA and, uh, in about a couple of weeks, I got a PSA 10. I actually sold it for, I think 17,000. Um, so that was like my first, like really big profit from a card. And, uh, yeah, it was crazy. Just some random card shop I uh, stumbled upon in a small town. Wow. That is awesome. So like, what's that, uh, $9,000 or what's that? 7,000 or $8,000 profit within yeah. a couple of weeks. You, uh, Definitely, de definitely can't beat that. And my next question to you is, so, you know, so, you know, you've made good money from sports cards and it's something you're probably going to do for the rest of your life, but you know, yep. what, how has it helped you with other business ventures, right? You own a, sh a shipping service now. Tell me a little bit right. about how the program and cards has helped you get into that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, just being in cards really sh shifted my perspective on business, you know, in general, just because, you know, all the negotiating you do. Uh, you know, I learned so much just throughout that, you know, I could have gone to school to learn business, but, you know, cards, I've, you know, learned way more than I could have, you know, going to college, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, like you said, I actually started a shipping service this past couple of months, um, you know, because obviously eBay, you pay sales tax, you know, depending on the state you live in. I live in Oregon with no sales tax. Um, so I decided to, you know, start it. And uh, I've actually made some pretty good money doing that. I think there's good potential with that. And, uh, you know, I never would have you know, stumble upon that opportunity if it weren't for, you know, joining your program, learning cards, insides, outs of it, you know, um, and meeting all the people I've met through cards. Because at the end of the day, cards, I feel like it's all about who you know, and, you know, just everybody you meet throughout the industry, because, you know, there's so many good connections you can make. Um, and, you know, that stretches, you know, across different industries, not just sports cards. So, 
um, yeah, I would say it affected me more in that aspect than it did, you know, in cards, you know, just, you know, the relationships, I've, the relationships I've built, you know, in the past couple of years have been, you know, amazing. Yeah, t- touch on that, right? You, you go to a lot of card shows, right? You travel a lot for a bunch yeah, of cards. Yeah, for sure. You and I go to card shows now, which is, you know, crazy to think, but, um, yeah, the people you meet at card shows, it's crazy. You see people walking around with, you know, so much money acting like it's nothing just because it's, mm-hmm. it's business really is booming. You've seen the people who've made money from the beginning, you know, people that are making money now that are getting into it. It's crazy. And so, um, especially, you know, building those relationships with like friend groups and stuff and seeing everybody, you know, making money and doing well for themselves, you know, that's the best part about it. So um, I love it. I I love it. Awesome. So in two years, so you're, so you're 20 years old now, correct? Yeah. 20. So 18 years old, you're making, you know, I believe you're making food in a food truck, right? Didn't yeah, know much about like minimum wage, getting paid under the table. Yeah. Gotcha. So now you're making $200,000 a year from sports cards. You have your own shipping service and right. you travel the country really whenever you want, going to all sorts of different card shows. What cities have right. you been to? I've uh, been to Dallas about four times, I believe. Been to Miami a couple times. Um, going to Denver here in a couple weeks. Uh, Chicago for the national next month. Um, so, yeah, all over the place. And I've never – never really had the opportunity to travel before because I never really had a reason to travel. So now, now that I have the reason to, you know, it's business write off. Like I could write off all the expenses and stuff. So yeah, I, I love it. I couldn't ask for more. Well, that is awesome. So you heard it from the man himself, Brock. Well, Brock, I appreciate your time a lot. I know you're a busy guy. Thank you so much and uh, have a great day, man. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you.